Hey everyone, welcome back to another devlog for my game which still has no name. This week, I've been focusing on getting a notification system working. I haven't really gone through what the notification system will be doing in game, but it's pretty straightforward. These notifications will pop up once in a while when your servers in game detect a threat and is in need of a solution to either get rid of it or remove the threat source completely. Notifications won't just be to announce threats, but also to tell you when something finished researching or when you save your game. But these probably won't be the only things which will be shown by the notification system, but will probably be the most common to come out of the notifications. First thing to note about the notifications though, is that the content of the notification should be easily modifiable in play so that I don't have to make prefabs of each type of notification manually. So naturally, I created a notification widget with an image and two texts to show the topic and the description. These can all be easily modified by handing in a sprite and two strings. Now all this was pretty easy. You just did control it in one script which spawns then changes the information on the notification widget. But the animating part was what took me the longest to figure out. I knew I was going to use lerp to animate the notifications coming down, but I used an animator to animate it coming in and out. But what really mattered was trying to get the notifications come what really mattered was to try and get the notifications to go away automatically once it hit a certain number of notifications. And there are two ways to go about doing this. The first way is to use integers, which will hold the max number of notifications and the current number of notification widgets, and just to check if the current number of notifications is higher than the maximum number of notifications. The second way is to use the position of the widget itself to check its Y value and check if this value is lower than the max Y position, which is calculated by multiplying the max number of notifications and the height of the notification widget itself. And the second one sounds like a lot of work, so I decided to go for the first one. And after around half an hour of code, here it should be working after the game detects more than 4 notifications in the game. Okay, so here after half an hour of code, you can see that the game is working properly, correctly detecting more than four notification widgets in game and uh, uh, hide the extra notification widgets. There's really no hiding here and clearly this first solution was a terrible one. So off I went for the second one. The second solution was actually way easier than I thought. And all I really had to do was just ask the notification widget every frame if it's at a certain position. And if so, it'll just automatically play the out animation. I shared this on Twitter and Reddit, and the feedback was really positive on Reddit, but a little, let's say, lonely on Twitter. But back on Reddit, this went pretty well on r slash Unity2D and got me quite a bit of feedback. A few people were asking how I did this and whether there was a tutorial on it, and of course my answer was no. But if you guys also want to see a tutorial on this topic, I'd be happy to spend some time making a video for tutorial for you guys on this channel. So be sure to say so in the comments and hit subscribe so you don't miss it. I don't really like putting this in the beginning video, but I do have a Patreon page where you can support me there, and I have rewards which might interest you, like being able to receive early access to games like this one. And I don't know, maybe more will come. But that's about it for this week. Smash like if you liked it, and subscribe if you don't want to miss the next devlog, and I see you all then.